Dude, look at the timeline. Look at the timeline of kills, man. He looks like a hacker. You see this and you think you're looking at a hacker. Okay. We dropped 37 kill wins from solo finals from this hill in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know where he is on the map right now. Here. We're landing on the hill north of Snooty Steps. We're going to get two SMGs and then we're going to rush into Snooty Steps late. This is a very interesting strategy. Would not have expected this to work. We have 120 HP and we're just jumping in. <laughs> okay. The weird... Let <laughs> me take the L on Fikoi. One of the weirdest starts I could have ever expected. I don't... Did he mess up his drop? How was that? I say it so much on my React channel. But I don't understand how that could be the start of a 37 kill win. He landed in Narnia and just randomly jumped onto the roof. The guy had a shotgun and shield. And then Peterbot just somehow wins it. It's crazy to think that like one or two bullets was the difference between a 37 kill win or not. Okay, so now we instantly start versing the boss. I feel like this is a really bold strat to go for the boss this early. Oh, he baits him into the basement. That is so smart. So Peterbot ba baits Peter into the basement, but then he's got to deal with five AI. But then they all start mantling out of the basement. He doesn't have to deal with as many. Okay. That is a Giga Brain strat. I have not seen people lure the boss into the basement before. That was nice. He's already getting pushed, but now he has the medallion and the mythic pump. Okay, so we get our hands on the mythic pretty much as fast as you possibly can. This makes a lot more sense now. We got the mythic really quickly, but still. That was a very interesting strategy to bait it downstairs. Okay, player's got to run. Noticing he's running the burst SMG, but I don't think he's found anything better. There, apparently, Muzz has been saying, though, a lot of people are sleeping on the burst SMG with the laser mag attachment. Apparently, it makes the burst SMG have zero recoil. Zero bloom. It just shoots dead straight like a laser. Oh, we just got a regular SMG, though. We got a regular gold SMG, so that might be the choice to run here. Is he practicing the scopes? No. This kid doesn't even know what the scopes look like. He's played so little, he doesn't even know which scope he wants. And he goes on to drop a 37 kill win in finals. He's literally window shopping the gun. He's wasting gold. It's a tournament. He doesn't have 5,000 gold. He doesn't know what scope even works. <sighs> Takes the wall, slides the stair under him. Player survives there because he did the wrong thing. Almost every player would have gone up there. He made the mistake and fell, and that's why he's still alive. Oh, Peterbot phases in off the hitbox of the tree to phase into the box there. Play hits a big pump and almost gets him. Oh, he's on the burst SMG. Okay, Peterbot knows. Peterbot knows the strategies, chat. We have dropped a gold SMG for a purple SMG. A burst SMG, meaning he's going for the strat Muzz was talking about. So burst SMG with the laser sight is the wave. Oh, hits the zipper. Oh, no. This poor guy, no. I'm pretty sure the replay mode just saved this dude from getting embarrassed for the most part. And oh, Peter is chasing him. Easy Elim. Does he drop the big pop for the med kits? Because he's already got the medallion. I think he just doesn't care. I think he's just running at everyone at this point. Oh, he goes for the no-scope wall take and misses the wall with the no-scope. Predicts the drop down piece. Play doesn't drop down. It's taking him longer to kill these opponents because he's giving them too much credit. He's doing things that they should be doing and they don't. And now he's taking the L on. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Well, that's the second player we've taken the L on this game. Wait, this guy's doing the gritty on him. Oh no, buddy. You don't know what's about to hit you. Stop grittying, son. Get out. <laughs> he's trying to run. Do it to it. <laughs> right foot creep. <laughs> this guy is regretting that emote so bad right now. Oh no. Bro, the instant karma delivered when someone hits an emote on somebody and then gets ran down is so great. Oh no, he's getting blended. Oh no, please dance on him. Please, Peterbot. No, that's the kid you don't take the L on. Oh man, I needed that kid to get L danced on. Hits the gritty and then gets absolutely blended. Oh my God. The peace control on that was ridiculous. Oh, the lag, no. Oh. Big pump off the left hand. Ooh. 
Another advantage of the burst SMG. The bleed damage through the walls is crazy. Whoa, that's a lot of caches. Peterbot did not record and did not stream this game. This is the only way to watch it, so... And a 37 kill win is worth going back and watching even in replay mode. Oh my god. The full momentum phase in off the cone into the box. Full piece, one pump. He's just too good, man. Oh no, the kid's hiding in the catch on him. <laughs> He's hiding in a cone off the catch. No, Hawkus Porkus. <laughs> Oh, these poor kids, man. That was you, Hawkey? No, you're in my chat. No, I was AFK. Don't judge. Hawkey, no. Unlucky, bro. I mean, let's be real. If you weren't AFK, was it really going to make a difference? Like, be honest with yourself. Do you think it would have mattered? All right. Both these players are weak here. Okay, so he's using the he's using the no-scope on the walls a lot. He's using no-scopes to get the walls weak a lot. Dude pushes that goes straight out the front wall and actually catches peter off guard takes him down to 130 hp you think at this point most players would probably stop and pop the big pop but not peter bot that one second is the difference between getting more eliminations we have 11 eliminations already like the speed at which he is running through this lobby again if you've just gotten here this is a solo victory finals on na not an opens a finals He's only got one medallion so far, I think. I'm going to have to judge. I haven't seen him pick up another one. Unfortunately, you can't see in replays if they have more. So chooses not to step in the box there and baits the step back with the pump shot. Oh, doesn't take the wall first try. What is Peterbot's ping on central? It's not zero, right? It's like 20. The prediction piece. Almost full boxes that kid that he doesn't even see. Oh, oh, we're moving. Oh, we are blending. Gets him in the cone. Drop down. Takes the wall. Wait, this guy's actually doing a good job to survive that long. Kovac puts up a decent fight. He gets like 30 ping. That's crazy. 20, 30 ping. Okay. So not terrible, but not zero for how fast he is. He's just making it look so easy. I know the comments on this video are going to be, why don't I get lobbies like this? When I invert everyone, my whole lobby's booger. But he just makes... Good players look like AI. There's just no room to breathe. This guy, this kid can't even get mini a single mini off. I think he's gotten one mini off. It's just, what are you supposed to do to this level of pressure? Oh my God. Hey, he got a return pump though. The kid actually hit him back. Okay, so he's only got one medallion. He's not gaining as much shield. So we've got 14 kills, only one medallion. So he's, he's really maining this burst SMG. I'm going to have to give it a try. Genuinely, I want you guys to give it a try and let me know. Burst SMG with the laser attachment. Is it as good as the pros are saying? Oh, monkey piece. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if you're piecing much, homie. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, if we're talking about tips, if you do have someone playing this aggressive like, that, like Peter is on that last player, you just got to hit a pump. If you keep booting away and you're not getting any space, just go for a pump. You need to hit damage to get pressure off. Oh, this player's actually ramping him. Here we go. He's got high ground. How long can he hold it for? Oh, Peter's... I keep forgetting we just changed the movement. Peter looking like he's been playing on this movement for a very long time. Gets the cone in. SMG's too strong. Okay. We have 16 eliminations. So we get 20 of the next 40 kills. Holy... Bro, look at the look at the timeline of the eliminations. <laughs> I've never seen that in a not be a hacker. Oh, okay. Here we go. This player is putting up a decent fight. For now. Oh, he's playing aggressive. This player's got the drum. Yeah. Auto shotgun. Oh, oh, almost beats Phoenix. He misses the shot. The guy played to his strengths. So he got purple auto shotgun. He tried to cheese him and get in his face. That's the biggest issue with the auto shotgun. It's great. But you have one chance against a good player to cheese them. Once they know you have it and they know that's your play, they're going to play distance or they're going to play pre-fires and it's so hard to win. You really have to make the most of your opportunity when you expose that you have an auto shotgun. <laughs> he knows the guy in this box. Now, if anyone's going to get suspicious on that, how he knows he's in this cone, that's the 72 hours trick. If you walk up to a cone and you pull out and you pull out your builds 
it'll show you a locked symbol if someone's inside the cone. So you know exactly what cone someone's hiding in. Oh no, the kid on one wall. No, 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 no. Oh, well. As I'm talking about average time to kill, we're putting kids down in two seconds flat. Oh, run, run. Flee. Hey, right, we're building multiple boxes here. This guy might hold up a fight for a... Oh, never mind. Uh, never mind. Oh, oh wait. This guy's actually semi-decent. Oh, this guy's all right. Peterboy has to play a little bit slower here. He has to back up a bit. Leaves his top open though. Oh, 67 HP. Almost takes him down. That's a 20 bomb. One of the fastest 20 bombs I've ever watched. We're on zone what? Like, what, what's half zone in this new, this new zone system? Zone five or six, I think? All right, see how we play this. Do we split them? Okay, so we just box fight one guy. Keep ourselves covered to the left from the third party that's right here. We just don't even act like the other guy is here. We're just pretending this is a 1v1, apparently. He's still running that burst SMG. So this really is the go-to. He is running this over mythic assault rifles right now. So if we're learning anything from here, other than just, you know, get younger and be better, abuse the burst SMG with the laser sight. This guy's just hiding in all the old builds. Poor guy. Peter gets zoned though, so he can take all the time in the world to find this player. Oh, finds him. Double pickaxe swings the wall. This player had a chance to win this. Wait a second. Big edit. Oh, he misses it. Messes up the edit. He goes for the big wide edit and then tries to sit on the right hand. Oh, and the no scope on the wall to phase in. Okay. So that's definitely what we're learning so far. Burst SMG with a laser sight. No scope the walls to do extra structure damage to either phase in or peace control. And Peterbot's leaving behind another mythic assault rifle to run this burst SMG. Checking out to see who can third party in. Oh, we found another player here, dude. Just like, oh my god. I just can't believe the pace. Like, my editor's not gonna have to do anything with this video. Like, there's nothing to cut out. You just upload it raw. Like, it's an entire game of just constant fighting. I guess the medallions just mean that you never have to stop fighting. Oh my god. 25 alive. 25 elims. Holy crap. This could have almost been a 50 bomb. So he's always covering all around him each time he pushes. So when he gets towards the end game, at the start of the game, he wasn't really covering himself at all, but obviously smaller zone, more eyes on you. Got to make sure you're not getting third party, especially with snipers. This could end so quickly with just one person third partying with a sniper or an AR. Going down here for... Oh, I thought he was going for the refresh, but I think he's just chasing this opponent. He could go for any other opponent in zone, but this player who's trying to run from him is the target now. This guy has to die. <laughs> we haven't even done that much damage to him to warrant playing this aggressive on him. I think if I ask Peter about why this kid, it's because he tried to run. Because there would be easier targets right now to just back off and go for someone else. Oh yeah, if you saw someone in your feed getting this many elims and making your game this dead, you'd 100% think it's a cheater. Oh, pieces above. Dude, his movement's so satisfying. This poor guy, man. I just can't... I can only imagine this was me in a solo victory finals too. Where elims mean nothing and I've just got this kid psychoing me this hard for nothing. To be fair, I'm already dead if it's me, but you know. Risky, risky. Let's see if Peterbot keys the one kid who's not in zone <laughs> rather than getting in zone himself. Yep, he's going to key the one singular kid that's not in zone. Oh no. For the first time in this entire game, we are going to prioritize zone and not fight someone. Okay. Apparently rotating zones is where we decide to prioritize zone. So he is getting lobbied a little bit. Ooh. Oh, that was beautiful. Side jump pickaxe lands. And it stand, stands on the ramp, boost off the ramp, straight in the box. That was fluid. With the new movement as well, that was satisfying. This might be like one of the craziest games of Fortnite I think we've ever seen. This is up there with Reed's 50 bomb last season. I'm not going to lie. Is this some kind of a record? 37 kills in solos with no AI has to be some kind of a record. Like, you're just not getting this unless it's a tournament where people are playing for endgame. I don't think anyone's ever dropped a game like this. Even in Arena, like, I just don't think anyone's ever dropped a game like this. It's just unheard of. That's 29 kills 
18 alive in a tournament. Vico dropped a 37 in opens. Okay. Vico is nuts. Yeah, like, because any, any game mode where you verse easier opponents, there's not enough of them. Like, it's just constant. I don't, like, there's a, maybe, like, two or three fights where he's messed up one or two things that could have equaled one extra elim. But other than that, it's just perfect. What are you supposed to say to this? 32 kills. He's just wiping the whole lobby. It's just a, it's just an like a free for all zone wars at this point. Oh no. Miss clicks the grapple. Doesn't matter. We get another Elim. Get hit hard though. 76 HP. This is the weakest we've been pretty much all game here. But we do have a few medallions, so it's gonna heal that up pretty quickly. Top 13. 33 kills. So he actually doesn't get that many kills here at the very final zone. This is where he finally has to slow down. Someone must put, do a bit of damage to him and he finally slows down the pace or something. Or everyone just keeps running, I guess. All right, we're prioritizing zone again here. We're going to take front side. Three med kits still left. He's only going to get the money here if he wins, in case you guys don't know how the, the format for this works. Peterbot also didn't stream this and didn't record it. So he makes zero dollars from this if he gets a 36 kill second. All right, 34 kills. Oh, 20 HP. So that could have been it. It almost all ended right here. Top six. This is the Maxo play that ran from him earlier. Nice. Still got 80 builds as well. Top five. Damn, he's just moving. Messes up the builds a little bit. I wonder if he's adapted to the movement yet. I mean, obviously, but he hasn't had to do any crazy retakes this game. Oh, guess that kill stolen. This could have actually been a 40 bomb too. He's had a few kills stolen now. Gets the extra medallion again. I think that's his fifth medallion. I think we just got the audio cue for five medallions. Oh, there's the... Fr oh my God. Okay, never mind. Peterbot has learned the movement. My man is already hitting clean free builds on the new movement that everyone's complaining about. Holy crap. 1v1. Does he win it? Can Twitch Electro FV hold off Peterbot on 36 kills? I wonder. Peterbot actually playing this kind of slow. He's actually respecting the 1v1 here. Oh, never mind. Drops down 117. Doesn't get the peace control on the wall, but the damage is done. Does he win it from a heal off or does he fight him? I feel like Peterbot's going to want to fight him here. Oh, headshot snipe to close out the 37 kill win. The world record. In the solo victory finals on NA. Oh my god.